Okay, so I should preface every tutorial I ever do by saying there's probably a much better, smarter way to do what I'm going to demonstrate. This is the way I did it, so take it with a grain of salt. But we're going to start with uh, Cypher Wolf's cool freebie chuck and let him be our kayak paddler. And then I found a kayak on Google Warehouse that's uh, okay, real simple, decent model. Modified it just a little bit. Then I made a uh, paddle, which I call a paddle pole or whatever. I'm not a kayaker, so I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. Uh, but I made this simple paddle. You can probably find one on the Google Warehouse, but I didn't find anything I liked right off the bat. Uh, and then the other thing is a simple target controller that I made, which is simply cube and a couple of uh, cones. You probably don't really need the cube. All you need is the uh, two cones to be the targets for Chuck's hands to grab. I'm going to parent this target object. As you can see, it's simply a cube and two cones. It is a dummy prop. I can hit Control D and turn it on and off. Uh, I'm going to parent this object, attach it to the uh, paddle, and I'm probably going to move the uh, cones out just a little bit further, and you can adjust them uh, later, but we'll go ahead and do it now. And uh, that will be that. And now all that has been parented to the paddle pole, I call it. And, uh, so there we go. Uh, the next thing we need to do is get Chuck to sit down. That's probably the hardest thing we've really got to do is get uh, Chuck to uh, sit in the kayak. And let's turn on the edit motion layer. And as you see, you can uh, adjust. Kind of turn mirror on here and we'll bring the out and get him to sit here and try to hide. Uh, I'm going to hold down the alternate key here and that lets me move around with my uh, mouse. And, uh, so this is probably the trickiest part of the whole thing is getting him to uh, hide his body and uh, I think we're pretty much tucked in there. So let's adjust the arms to get them in a close approximation of how he would be holding the paddle. I'm not a kayaker. I want to say that up front. And I have absolutely no clue. I went on YouTube and saw some videos of people paddling kayaks and kind of got an idea from watching the uh, animation there, but I uh, really have absolutely no clue. I'll have to turn mirror off and adjust this other arm to get the hands individually adjusted. And we'll tighten up the grip there. Oh, no, let's mirror that. And we'll get him to grip the pole hopefully at some point. And so roughly that's that, and you'll be able to spend more time tweaking. Uh, the positioning and the holding and all that. And let's slide this down now and position the pole in his hands. And once again, you probably have to do a little more tweaking to get a good fit. We're good on the right hand. And maybe we want to adjust this arm here a little bit. Oops, don't want to do that. Don't want to mirror. Turn that off. And uh, just adjust that hand there. So once again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. We're just really about getting this uh, paddling action down is the uh, key we're really after here. Okay, we got the hands pretty much positioned. I think good enough for our purposes. And we'll turn Control D back on so we can see our targets. Now let's go ahead and do our reach target positions. Let's select our avatar. Go over to Edit Motion Layer, Reach Target. Let's pick this hand and go there. Now I'm also going to turn on 
uh, rotation. That gives you a little more flexibility. Notice the hand will flip around, do something weird, but we'll correct that in a sec. And we'll pick that target there. And I'll go ahead and turn on rotation. Okay, now let's go to our reach targets. And uh, they are going to be simply my left target here. And let's turn on rotation. Once again, just position as best you can. You can spend a lot more time than I am. And turn this around. And position it back a little bit. Okay. And you can spend more time, but that gives you the idea. Now we are set to reaching that goal. Now if I go back to the paddle, select it, notice what happens. Okay. Now the only thing that really is uh, parented, as we said, are the reach targets to the paddle and then he is reaching with his hand to these particular shapes here, which I just happen to be cones. It can be anything. Uh, and once again, control D will turn off the dummy objects and those are truly dummy objects. Okay, now uh, everything is still pretty much free. He hasn't been parented to the kayak or anything else, and I will parent the paddle to the kayak in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the animation now, and uh, let's get the uh, paddle, and let's go down and uh, find. Keep forgetting prop prop puppet, and I'll drag this over here. And what I did was I chose uh, rotate, brought the sensitivity down so it's a little easier to move. Going to hit the space uh, bar to preview, preview and then space bar. And notice as I make a circular rotation, all I'm doing is going in a circle with the mouse. That is pretty much, I think, the motion you're after. And you might have to practice a few times, but I think this is probably uh, an easy way to do it. Now, you might want to try the advanced settings. I kind of played around with these settings thinking I could uh, set up some constraints and whatever, but uh, and there's a way to do that, but I didn't see it right off the bat, and this is pretty easy to do. And so all you need to do now is uh, hit record, and then hit the space bar, and then just do the paddling like you want. And it's going to lay down keyframes for the paddle, and create an animation for the paddle. He is simply following. There is not an animation for the character. He's simply reaching to the paddle and the paddle is moving. And you can let that run as long as you want. And uh, that's really all I did right there. If you'll uh, look at the paddle, it lays down a series of keyframes here. And uh, that becomes the animation. Now, uh, if you're real clever, you can capture these transition keyframes, capture this clip, and create an animation for the paddle. And the paddle will then retain that animation, and then anybody that reaches that paddle and uh, uses it will then do the rolling motion. So the rolling motion can be captured as an animation by simply collecting the clip, and it will be a uh, perform animation with the paddle. So uh, let's back up to the beginning now and now we have our animation. And if you're careful you'll have it. We'll turn control D and turn that off. And so now we have the paddle motion. Now uh, to give him a little more animation we can uh, go to the motion puppet and I am going to uh, mask. Uh, let's go ahead and get the look around. I have already selected the look around motion. I'm going to mask off his body here because we don't want legs to move and the hands to move. Let's mask off those things so we're just the head and the chest. And uh, I may want to adjust a few items here, take the exaggeration, the speed down. I'm going to hit the. Uh, okay, he's kind of hunkered down a little bit, so let's uh, adjust. Up right, yeah. and uh, we'll get him to look by adjusting these things. We can get his head back a little bit, you see. 
and once you get something you like then you can record an animation uh, for it. So now we can hit record <coughs> and uh, now he's looking around and that can be part of uh, Chuck's animation now and you can record that as long as you need that and that will make an, a little animation file for your character, your avatar here. Okay, so basically we've uh, ready to go except for linking everything and attaching. So let's do that. Let's go back to the beginning here. Let's uh, select Chuck. Let's link him to the kayak. And let's get uh, the paddle pole here and let's uh, attach it to the kayak. And uh, everything will appear to be the same. But if we, uh, of course, then move the kayak, let's slide it down here, and so now we can have a simple animation moving in a simple linear path without too much trouble. One other thing you might try, it's a little tricky, but um, and I'm not sure there are a few little problems, but you might try it. Uh, is take the animation, as you can see, the paddle. The animation really is in the paddle movement. It's not in Chuck or your character. He's just following and reaching for uh, those reach targets on the paddle. The paddle is doing the motion. If you want to collect that motion with collect clip, drag out a bar that includes all of those keyframes that were laid down by the prop puppet, right click Add to Motion Library, and we'll just call this Paddle 01. Okay. Uh, and now we want to remove all animation. So all the keyframes are now gone, and nothing's there anymore except Chuck's little animation. Okay, now if I right click on the paddle, I say Perform Paddle 01 and notice what happens. A little strange here and I'm sure someone can explain why it does that. Uh, I'm not clever enough to figure that out yet but uh, I'm gonna let it perform its uh, animation because when you uh, do a perform animation you need to let it play out as long as you want that animation to work. So it's gonna play out and we'll make a correction here with the transform tool. So uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so now we have our animation in the uh, kind of wrong position. So let's uh, adjust the transform of the paddle pole. And once again, let's just bring it back to where we had it. And uh, okay, that looks about right. So now what you have is a continuous animation clip, not just a bunch of keyframes. So you can, uh, you'll have a little more control, hopefully, over that speed. For one thing, you can adjust the uh, length of that anim clip and get him to uh, paddle a little faster or slower and uh, maybe give you a little more control. So making a uh, perform clip is uh, possibly something you might want to experiment with. Uh, still a few things I don't quite understand about it, and I'm not the perfect person to... Uh, tell you, but uh, I think this will get you going. Okay, uh, make sure you relink the uh, paddle to the kayak and make sure Chuck is linked to the kayak so that when you move, everything moves with it. Uh, one thing you might want to try is uh, creating an animation path. You might want to uh, send the kayak down some rapids and uh, using the alternate key here to help move around. I want to hit the escape key and that will end the animation path. Now we'll click on the kayak and select that first point animation node there and let's scroll down a little bit here and let's pick another point in the path at the end. Kayak will go there. So if we uh, go back to the beginning, I think you'll notice there is a little bit of a problem we have to deal with. As we scroll, of course, kayak is not really following the path correctly. So let's make sure we select the kayak, tell it to follow the path. Notice it's still oriented 
incorrectly, and what you need to do then is play with the axis. It's usually the minus y. And now uh, we have him going down the path. Uh, you might, now that we have an animation clip, we can control the speed of the paddle a little better. Uh, we can get him to uh, paddle a little faster as he goes through the path. Now, of course, once you have the path selected, you can adjust its height by simply raising the path up and down. So you can lay your water in, put some rocks in the way, and then have him uh, animate down that path, still paddling all the way. So that's something I want to try to.